Welcome back guys to Pinot Castle with Marky Mark here. All about the NBA and great the draft. Let's talk about it. What do you want to talk first? Okay, so as predicted, Zion Williamson, number one draft pick, goes to New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, John Moran to the Grizzlies and, you know, R.J. Barry to the Knicks. And we can continue from there. But what are your takes on that for your top three? Maybe the first top, yeah, top four What picks. are your what expectations are you for them? Yeah. Um, I think they all went to the right places. Uh, mm -hmm. Zion, you know, we all know what, you know, a unique athlete that he is. But I think from a New Orleans, New Orleans standpoint, he's going to put butts in the seats. Um, they have a face of the franchise now with AD gone. Yeah. Um, and I think it's something that the, the fan base will really come behind. John Morant, um, they need a point guard now with Count Conley gone. He could take the reins. I'm still hoping that DeLon Wright is the starting turn. point guard. He could I be the point so, guard. I, he's more, I he's feel more like he's more of a combo guard. guard. He, he's like, a combo yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so maybe, and maybe they can play together, yeah. right? That would be really um, nice. But, you know, John Morant can kind of like, take the reins and, and lead that team for whatever rookie point guard can do yeah. in his first year. And then R.J. Barrett, you know, like celebrate our, our Canadian kid. Yeah. The um, Maple Mamba. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to a big market. He's close to home. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's refreshing to see that he wants to be there. Yeah. Despite what management is, it's like he's, it, he's someone that, you know, I think relishes uh, the spotlight. And mm -hmm. I think New, uh, New York is a great environment for him to be in. Of all those three picks, though, like, who do you feel like would be the one to kind of break all the expectation or go beyond what they're expected of? Out of those three, kind of, because they're kind of the main talent of this draft, if you really think about well, it. Well, if we think about it, RJ was kind of in Zion's shadow, so I mm -hmm. feel like he has more of the expectation to kind of break through from it. Mm -hmm. I can see it. I mean, especially with a good team, like with the Knicks and stuff, so, like, he can be able to mm -hmm. help revolve or revolve around that team as well, so... Because Zion, like what you said, is already the face, whereas for, you know, mm. for RJ, he still has to kind of develop his own, you know, his own name for it there too, right? So. Yeah, for me, it's like, in terms of breaking expectations, like, you know, to be a number one pick, Zion has a huge, huge expectations on his shoulders. Um, let's not forget, like, RJ Barrett was, like, the first overall pick, at least projected, going into the season. Um, because he was kind of overshadowed with Zion, I think he has the most, he has the ability to be like, because people are now kind of sleeping on him. Between those three, he's like the, the underdog pick or not the most. Maybe underrated kind yeah, of Yeah, or not you know, Even though he's in the top, but like it's still kind of under it because it's like Yeah, it's he's not Zion, the exciting right? yeah. pick, right? Yeah. So I think he has the opportunity to kind of show people like, hey, this is why I was number one. Yeah. You know, going into I, think. I feel like he is the most not exciting pick, but I feel like he's more the more complete player for sure out of all the, the, the two players in terms of what he can do scoring the basketball. He can shoot anywhere around the floor, he has the handle, and he has the height, and he can play on both ends too. Whereas yeah. those two players, Cha and, and Zion, they still need to work on a couple things in their, in, in their games. What about? The other, the rest of the drafts, like who has been kind of you've been looking after, or you've been excited to see, what which one of those players kind of in in the rest of the drafts that we kind of went through. I From oh, you can go ahead. Oh, uh, I was just about to say, I'm since we were talked about the Bulls and they're like they're a young, very young team, so adding the addition of Kobe White would be really good. So that's yeah. kind of really exciting to see for that. I'm now going to be watching the Bulls now because of this, so mm -hmm. I want to see how their development and like how they blossom as a team would be really good. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, from players, I've, I've been intrigued with uh, DeAndre Hunter, um, who I believe is now... Going to the Hawks. Going to the Hawks. Yes. Um, I think he's a great two-way player, maybe a 3 and D guy, a guy with like agility, athleticism, and some size. Um, I'm also fans of guys that can put it in the bucket and guys that can shoot. So mm -hmm. Cam Johnson and Tyler Hero are, are guys I've kind of looked at uh, during their like college uh, time, and uh, I'm excited to see them in the league. And it also helps too with like Cam Reddish is now going to be with Atlanta yeah. with him too, right? So yeah, that's going to be right. that's some yeah with Trey Young as well. So it's going to be they got some shooting. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm looking forward to. Like just these young teams is what I really look for, like kind of live off of, right? So yeah, of all the I, mean, I guess of all the teams that have gotten young uh, some young talents from this draft, who are you most excited with in terms of um, teams that are they've drafted, but then has also a young core that they're building on top of that. 
which team are you more excited to I'm see? more excited to just say like Atlanta and Chicago or those two the most. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm more proud. I'm definitely just going to watch at random for Ru Hachimara. It's because he's Japanese, like yeah. another, you know, another Asian pride that we can all like look up to and everything as well. So that's what I'm I'll probably looking forward to as well. For sure. What you in? Um, I've uh, ever since the AD trade, um, I've I'm super excited to see how New Orleans, uh -huh. you know, yeah. completes their roster. Yeah. Um, just some some young guys that you know uh, are, are you know ready to take it to the next level. I'm, I'm excited to see that. And yeah. as Ing Ingrid had mentioned, Atlanta is a team That's that exciting. also excites me coming into the season. So. Let yeah. alone because we also didn't mention with. Um, Jackson Hayes now the center mm -hmm. is not going to be with so that could be like a potential a developing court. front yeah. court right yeah. so yeah. It's exciting too. that's really exciting some, to see some some front court players with bounce that's for sure right? exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah and just Zion has that overall power like he's a fridge if anything like just his built and everything too yeah. it's scary that's what I was gonna ask you guys like I guess we'll name one player from this draft that you feel like will be an instant impact already that ready to contribute in their team at their current level at the current state of their game? Hmm. Um, I, I, I say Ja, you know what I mean? The, the ball is going to be in his hands a lot of the time. I think maybe coming off the bench, if yeah. anything. So. Yeah. Maybe the same way that um, Luca and Trey was handed basically the starting guard yeah. and the ball in yeah. your hand. Yeah. Ja Morant will be, yeah. Do you think RJ Barrett would kind of have that the same situation where the ball would just, because there's nobody anymore in and besides Dennis Smith Jr., I guess, in New York, that's going to have the ball in his hand. Yeah, I think a lot is going to be expected of him. Um, and I think, you know, wh whoever the coaching staff is there, they're going to want the ball in his hands. Uh, obviously, the, their organization made a huge investment, picking him number three. And as you mentioned, right now, you know, with the departure of Chris Stapps, um, yes, Kevin Knox is there, but there's, there's no real star. And maybe they have one now with RJ. So. Yeah.